Welcome back to AM Buffalo. It is time to get your cheer on with the Fredonia Blue Devils cheer team. Yes, and this squad is just delightful. They love what they do, and they say it is exciting for them. But every day, thanks to the sisterhood that has been created, they, I mean, they get to do what they love. Take a look at this. Welcome back to AM Buffalo. I am so excited today because we are doing another segment of Women in Sports and we have the Blue Devils cheerleading team. And what's your name? I'm Hannah. I'm Haley. I'm Liana. And this is so exciting because we always talk about women in sports, but now you get the women behind the scenes. So please tell me, what is your why? Why the cheerleading squad? I do cheer because it inspires me and mm -hmm. I realized that like I do it because it's not always easy. Yeah. Like every day it's like a ch new challenge, but I love to do it because it challenges me and I love being around people that make me happy and yeah, I love it. How long have you cheered? I've cheered since eighth grade. Wow. Yeah, not okay. super long, but long enough. Yeah, how long have you cheered? Um, since my freshman year of high school. Wow, and what about you? Uh, I think since I was eight or nine years old. Oh my gosh. You ladies are good. So tell me, what inspires you about this team? The girls on the team inspire me a lot, as well as my coach, because of the amount of work ethic that they put into it. Mm -hmm. And we're all in college. We all have classes, grades, and we all just pick each other up, even on our bad days. Mm -hmm. So from what I'm hearing, it takes a lot of planning and being intentional with your time, right? Yeah, there's a lot of time management that has to go with it. And what do you ladies feel like during a game when you're cheering? Like, what is it? What's going through your head? It's so much fun, like, hyping up the basketball team and just getting the crowd hyped, too. Mm -hmm. We have, like, a lot of fun with it. Yeah. yeah. I can tell y'all have a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the future generation, because you ladies are awesome, but you're also paving the way for other young ladies. What would you say to a young woman that is watching this that says, you know what, I want to do what they're doing? Um, I think I would say don't be scared. There's a lot of hard work that goes into it, and I know that, say you did it in high school, high school to college can be a big jump, but from my personal experience, like I have made so many friends. I love coming to practice every day. Like It's what lifts me up if I'm having a bad day. Like I will go to class and be like, oh, I just want it to be practice. I just want to say don't be scared. You can do it. I can do it. Everyone can do it. Oh, I love that. Thank you. And then how does it feel to hype up the crowd? Like. That has to be an awesome feeling, right? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. And then when you see everyone go crazy, it's even more fun. Mm -hmm. I am so honored to be standing here with Coach Troche. Coach, when we're talking young women in cheerleading, how long have you been a coach? I have been a coach more than 20 years. Wow. Um, at the college level, this is my ninth year. Wow. And what's your why? Why did you pick cheerleading? Um, I myself was a cheerleader um, back when I was in high school a long time ago and came right out of high school and I started coaching. I started coaching because I saw the need um, for leadership and young, mm -hmm. young women and just empowering them. Um, and so taking on that leadership role and being able to really influence young athletes, especially yeah. women athletes, um, became really important. Yeah, and, and I think you're bringing up a very important point. Cheerleading is a sport, yes. right? Yes, absolutely it is. And so speak with Speak about your young ladies, the Blue Devils. How proud of them are you? I am so proud of these young women. Um, we have come together, of uh, 25 of us, mm -hmm. um, and the leadership that this team this year has taken on is unbelievable. Everybody plays a role mm -hmm. um, in volunteering, taking lead of anything that we're doing mm -hmm. on campus or off campus, and just their work ethic on the, on the mat and the yep. ability to um, lift one another up yeah. throughout any type of day or during a game is amazing. How does cheerleading um, play into their leadership roles? Um, to be a cheerleader, you really have to have the skills to want to get out there in front of people, mm -hmm. um, show your best, and at times, sometimes show your worst and be able to recover from it. Um, the cheerleaders and their leadership, um, I think it's super important because they get opportunities not only to lead on campus, but also off campus and yep. volunteer opportunities yep. and take ownership of that. That's really good. And coach, I always have to ask if there's a young lady watching this saying, you know what, I think I want to do that. You have to speak to her and tell her what she can look forward to. I think that as a young lady coming in to uh, the world of cheerleading, there's lots of ups. 
Um, if you give your um, hard work and have good work ethic and you're a great teammate and you look on the positive sides of things, even when it's you know some, a difficult, difficult skill you're working on, mm -hmm. you just keep finding the positive in every moment and um, you're gonna fly. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna really do great. Coach, tell us a couple things that people need to know when it comes to sports in college. When it comes to sports in college, um, when you're entering a new sport, you really need to look at the um, athletic side of it. Mm -hmm. You will be, you know, going to work out upon practicing, upon managing your time. But I think the most important thing to be proud of when you're going into um, a college um, athletic world is that you are one of a small percentage. Mm -hmm. I believe it might be 7% of high school athletes actually carry on into the college level. So to be a woman in that 7% is absolutely amazing. That is awesome. Coach, thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. We'll be right back.